Hi, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about divorce. I lost everything, or did I? Today's video is going to be about, as I say, my divorce and living in Thailand for 10 years and what I've learned talking to many, many people who've gone through the divorce process also. And I would say 80% of the men who come over here have gone through the divorce situation and they've come to live in Thailand and retire in Thailand because it is such a chain from their own country. Now I'm going to put some photographs here. These are, these are the houses that I lived in and built. The two detached houses that you see here, I, I built them on a self-build scheme and the first one took two and a half years and the second one took three years on a, a building site and I helped to build it along with 35 other people on a self-build group. I was a firefighter, I had my own children's entertainment business, I had a couple of properties that I renovated, so things were going really, really well. Um, I worked so my wife didn't have to work, so she was at home looking after the children, and everything was rosy, really, and everything was going tickety-boo, and then divorce happened. The divorces were very messy and very bitter, um, as anything to do with money. So now living in Thailand, this is where I live. So, have I really lost? This house actually here, I built it and I never actually got to live in it. I spent two years building it and I only made £6,000 when I sold it because of the, there was a financial crash and the interest rates went up to 15% and I already owned this house as well. So, so it was one of them financial decisions, one of the houses had to go and it ended up being this four bedroom detached house that, that was sold. So basically two and a half to three years working for not a lot of money. Um, but do I regret it? No, I don't, because I learned many, many things building my houses. Now getting back to the subject with regard to divorce and losing everything, and the question that I said, well, did I? Um, my divorce was in 2002, and at that time, life was bleak. Life wasn't very good. Uh, going through the divorce, it, it's, it's stressful, it's financially ruining and it, it's something that I don't envy anybody that's going to go through it. But because of the current situation now, what's going on in the world, I'm sure there'll be many, many more thousands of divorces, and this is aimed at the people that are going through that divorce and reassessing their life to what they can do after divorce. Like I say, I'll go through my little story with, with going through the divorce. So I had three houses all together, I had my own electrical business, I had my own children's entertainment business, I was working seven days a week and then going through the divorce because the amount of money that I was earning, the wife or the ex-wife wanted a substantially more money for maintenance payments. But I said to everybody at the courts, right, that's it, I'm going to pack in all my businesses, why should I give my ex-wife more money for me working harder? So I said no, and I just went back to being a firefighter for a year or two and whilst the divorce was sorted out financially wise um, because of the amount of properties that we had and the businesses that we had uh, we had a fair amount of debt and so this had to be cleared off and because my wife wasn't working she wasn't financially responsible for any of it so it all got loaded onto my plate so following the divorce I ended up owing a lot of money and I ended up going through bankruptcy because it just ended up that way. It's, it's, a long, it's a long story, but I don't want to go into it. But yeah, I ended up going through bankruptcy. So from having three houses, businesses, quite solvent financially wise, to going through bankruptcy, living in a crappy little flat in Redcar, I was at my lowest. And it was just like, oh, what's happened to me? What's gone wrong? Why did it all go wrong? What have I done wrong? So I questioned myself and the answer was, Les, you didn't do anything wrong. Personal reason, she felt that she wanted a divorce. So in my mind, I was the perfect husband, took care of her financially. When I met her, she had a suitcase full of clothes and that was it. And here we are, I had three houses. I had a number of businesses financially wise. I couldn't do anything more. She got what she wanted to do. She didn't want to work. She wanted to stay at home looking at the children. So for me, it ticked all the boxes, but it didn't. For whatever reason, she wanted the divorce and we went through the divorce, but that's history now. So then the recovery back from that. Uh, bankruptcy was very unpleasant, 
but it also learnt me a, a big lesson because I didn't need the things that I used to have. I can live on a lot less money every month and obviously because I was uh, declared bankrupt I had no debts so any money that I earned through being the firefighter it was just all my money. So I quickly saved up enough cash to buy myself a, a cheap little car and then we just went from there. Nothing untoward because if I started the business up again whilst I was bankrupt then I would have had to pay towards my bankruptcy fees. Bankruptcy was very very difficult to go through <clears throat> but it only lasted three years and after three years everything just went back to normal as if nothing happened. Um, and that, that was sort of the recovery after three years and then after them three years I only had five years left to do in the fire brigade before I could retire so I was making plans to retire and go around the world traveling around one thing and another. Started dating two years before I retired, this Chinese girl. Um, we got on very well together. And then come the day of retirement, a couple of months after I retired, we went around the world for two years. And um, we had a, a good time, very, very stressful. We got married in Fiji, but then we got divorced. Following two years of going around the world, she decided she didn't want to travel anymore, sick of being living out of a suitcase, and I didn't. I just wanted to keep on traveling. So we parted and that was my third divorce. Thankfully, my third divorce wasn't as costly as my other divorces. It was just a 200 pounds fee to pay to the courts just to get divorced because we'd only been married a year, even though we'd been going out with each other for four. Um, so financially wise, I just got landed with the money to pay for the court costs. And then she stole two and a half thousand pounds out of my joint account, which was a nice part and gift from her. But life goes on she goes on she she's living back in england and i'm living here in thailand so for those people that are going through a divorce or just starting on it or in various stages of getting divorced just look at the bigger picture once your divorce is over and done with the ladies are always going to win the ladies are always going to if they've got children they're always going to get the house and things so just cut your cloth to suit and look forward to the future of not being married and the independent and the freedom that that gives you by being divorced. Um, as I say, once I got divorced, I carried on traveling around the world. I lived in Thailand and I still live in Thailand now. I have lived in Thailand now for almost 10 years. Yes, I'm married again, my fourth wife. I've got to say she's probably one of the best girls I've ever met. I'm very, very blissfully happy living here in Thailand. And said, this is the house that I'm living in now, just to give you some idea. This house here, which was the, my dream house that I built, it was a four bedroom detached house, double garage. It was sort of my aspirations to, to live in a house like that. And that was the mark on my register to say, I've done well. I'll have had my own businesses, retired from the fire brigade, no mortgage at 50 year old. That was my dream at the time. But obviously it's different now because now I live in Thailand and I've lived in Thailand now for almost 10 years. But just to give it this house here, if I owned it, didn't have to pay a mortgage, I would still have to pay the council tax, which is a government tax that everybody has to pay to live in their house. Now the government tax on this works out at £172 a month, every month, and it goes up every year. So that equates to about just over 7,000 baht. So as you can see, even if I owned that house, I would have to pay the 7,000 baht a month. Whether I lived there or whether I didn't, I still have to pay that. Then the water rates for that place is about 45 pounds a month. So that brings that total for just living there and doing nothing, 200 pounds a month, which equates to about 9,000 baht. Now the house that I'm living here, my total rent is 12,000 baht a month, including the water, including the gardener, 12,000 baht a month. So where would you sooner live? This house here or this house? I live in a beautiful country. The weather is beautiful here all the time. It's nice and warm. I never feel cold. Um, my heating costs uh, nothing because you don't have to pay for heating here because it's warm all year round. I have to pay for the air conditioning costs, but my electricity bill is less than a thousand baht every month. So. So my answer is, did I really lose the divorce? 
I might have lost financially wise, but mentally wise and physically wise and healthy wise, I live a much more superior life here in Thailand than I ever did in England. And it's only when you talk to other people who are going through that process. And I encourage people just to look beyond the divorce. The biggest divorce rates are from 50 years upwards. That 50 year upwards, there is life outside divorce. Just swallow the bitter pill that's gonna happen when you get divorced. You're gonna lose some money financially wise, but as far as happiness is concerned, you can build on that happiness again. You can have a fantastic life. I have a fantastic, my channel's called Retired and Living the Dream, and I wake up every day thanking my lucky stars that I'm living here, doing what I'm doing, because it's a much better lifestyle than any other lifestyle I could have had in England. Drive around in a nice car, we have a motorbike, we have a Samlo, we live five minutes away from the beach. Uh, my wife has a house in the country, so we have the best of both worlds. We can go and live in the countryside, in my wife's house, or we can live by the beach, like where we do now, five minutes drive away from the beach. So we have the best of both worlds. And could I afford that in England? Absolutely no way at all. I couldn't afford two houses in England. So life is good. So for those people who are going through a divorce, contemplating divorce, there is life after divorce. So from Les, retired and living the dream in Thailand. Until the next video, bye for now.